I was born in Badrigi, it's a little village. Uh, there was a population of about maybe 30 families. Uh, I remember we were living in a house that was built by my mum's mother and father. And it was like a, a cave. It was all white and it was chalk outside. And they built it with straw, clay, and it, we're living in one room. There was a double bed for my mum and a single bed for all of us. And we lived there, we washed there, that was everything in one room. A typical day, we'd, we'd get up in the morning, I would have been even five, and we'd go out looking for sparrows, because we have to lay traps, uh, eggs, so we could take them back, because that was, would have been our food. Sparrow eggs. Sparrow eggs, pigeon eggs, any eggs, yeah. We, we used to lay traps for them, and then we made ladders, homemade ladders, because the traps were laid in the houses. We used to have like little holes to climb up there and then we get whatever we can get, you know. Uh, sometimes we go out in the fields to get a rabbit. Uh, when it rains, we used to go for snail hunting. The snails were massive. Right? And we used to eat everything we could because we never had any, an income. My father had a little cafe in the same property we were living. So he had a little bit of a cafe there and he used to run a puppet show in the old days, in the 50s and 40s. And they used to pay him a penny to watch the puppet show because that was our cinema, our TV, because we never had nothing. There was no electricity or nothing. And one of us would go and get the water from the well, which was it would take about 15 minutes to walk there and walk back. We, we, we did. You know, the elders would do something elderly because my, my elder sister used to look after two goats. Now the two goats, they were making the cheese. So we had to look after these goats. We had the milk and the cheese. We never had a cow. So my sister would go out in the morning, take them to grass, and I remember she telling me once that she was sitting on a tree, daydreaming about something. The goats went away. And when she came down, she couldn't find them. And it was the local police officer told us we got the goats. And my mum had to pay five pence to get the goats back. We used to grow things, yeah. We used to grow melons, uh, wheat for the bread, um, tomatoes. Cucumbers, stuff like that, you know. Uh, apricots, oranges, olives. We sell a lot of olive trees, so we made our own oil. Um, and also, sometimes the sparrows, my mum would pickle them. We didn't feel we didn't feel poor because that's the way of our life. We never felt poor at all. In fact, we felt great and wealthy in a way because everybody. If, if my mother wanted, let's say, some eggs, and she never had the eggs because the, the chicken never laid the eggs that day, well, she would take something to the neighbor that's got a load of eggs and swap. So if, if we want to go to the shop for a chocolate, because we did have a shop up there, um, and it belonged to George Michael's granddad, because George Michael passed away, was a, a, like a third cousin, because his father was born in, in Badrigi. And he, he was raised with my brother, my oldest brother. They're playing the guitar, both of them, yeah. I did go to school. We had to have our hair shaved completely because of head lice. We never had any way of, you know, getting rid of head lice. Although the girls didn't have their hair shaved, my mum had to pick them for head lice every night. So that's three, three of my sisters would have to, I know it sounds, you know, but that's the way it was, you know, everyone did it there, you know. Uh, the school was pretty, it was like one room for the whole village to go. And if you were naughty, the teacher would send you out to pick your own stick so he can wallop you with it. But well, that was funny. 
Uh, we, I think we started about nine o'clock. We had to queue up. We had to get cod liver oil down us. We hated it. But if we never, we had to. Everyone queued up. First thing we do is cod liver oil, one spoon for each. And then our day starts at school. The journey on the ship was not very nice. Uh, we never had a lot of food. We were living below deck for a long time. My sister was sick. I remember her being very ill. And I remember going through the Suez Canal and you can literally touch the, the mountains on both sides. You can just see them and the ship was going very slow. Otherwise, the ship was, wasn't, because they've been on a ship before, you see. We were all frightened, you know. Very low down, yes. When we came over to England, it was the worst experience that we had. Because we, well, we saw skyscrapers and we were living in little houses and we thought they were going to fall on our heads. I was frightened. My sister was frightened as well. In fact, all my sisters were. We were all frightened. We never seen buildings like that. We never went to uh, big towns. We stayed in our village. <laughs> 